Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we're making peanut butter cup fudge. Cause it's the all free whole food plant-based cooking show. Okay guys, so peanut butter cup fudge. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna love me so much after you taste this, it is amazing. If you are a fan of Reese's peanut butter cups like me, but can't eat them anymore, this is gonna be your go-to. Better than the ones you get at the grocery store because the ones at the grocery store are still loaded with oil and you know, mostly palm oil, which is one that you really wanna steer clear of and refined sugars. This is a whole food Reese's peanut butter cup fudge. Oh my gosh, let's get started. So we're gonna start with the peanut butter filling first because then we can make the chocolate um, filling and we don't have to clean out, we don't have to clean this out because it's basically the almost the same ingredients. Um, the chocolate one just, just minus the peanut butter. So we're gonna start, we've got four medjool dates and that is what we use in, instead of that refined sugar. This is a whole food sugar. When in doubt, if you need, you have a sweets crazy, craving, go for the dates. They're great, or raisins, or even they're better. They're good too. We have a third of a cup of peanut butter, and this is just creamy, regular peanut butter, no oil, no salt, nothing. It's just roasted ground peanuts. But if you can't find ones that don't have salt, don't worry about it. You can use that one too but just you wanna read those labels of peanut butter especially, because a lot of those, they'll say like no stir peanut butter, but that means they've added oil. Okay, and I've got a half a cup of almond meal or almond flour, same thing. And then we're gonna do, let's see, what is that? A teaspoon of vanilla. So that was two thirds of a cup of almond meal. One teaspoon of vanilla. And the full recipe will be in a link in the details below if you missed any of the ingredients here. And I've got a little bit of water here because when you're blending, sometimes if it doesn't completely stick together, you can always add just like a teaspoon at a time of water to get it to clump together. So now we're just gonna, we're just gonna pulse it first and then we're gonna let it run until that mixture really just starts coming, clumping together. While we're waiting for that, I would like to share with you some of the exciting things we offer here on the show. Our official website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, offers hundreds of our original free step-by-step -step video recipes, as well as tips and resources for everyday plant-based living. For more in-depth learning, we created the 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, which will teach you everything you need to know to successfully transition to a plant-based diet in 28 days. The course includes weekly meal plans and shopping guides, 65 tasty video recipes, and daily learning materials from our most trusted plant-based resources. All of our classes offer lifetime access so you can take your time and work through them at your own pace and revisit them as much as you like. Our Plant-Based Made Easy community offers our basic free membership that is free for life and is great for staying in the loop. And our Legends membership for $15 a month that offers instant access to all of our digital products, including our 28-day course and holiday feast cooking class, our growing line of printable cookbooks, wholesale discounts on our branded apparel and named credit in the show. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, so it's, it's still not quite stuck together yet. It's still a little bit crumbly. So I'm gonna take out this part and I'm just gonna drip. I'm gonna start with one teaspoon of water while it's on. There, we have our peanut butter mixture. And we're gonna scoop this into a bowl and set that aside, because that's gonna be the inside layer, like everybody knows, of that peanut butter middle. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, 
Now on to the chocolate. So here we have, I have 16 medjool dates. And that's a roughly two cups if you're using a different type of date. Get that out of the way so I don't confuse that. And then uh, two thirds cup of almond meal. Two thirds cup of cocoa powder. And I just realized in the first recipe, because I'm looking for my recipe here, that I told you two thirds of a cup of almond meal for the peanut, the peanut butter filling. It's half a cup for the peanut butter filling. But that will be in the details below. But the chocolate is the two thirds of a cup of almond meal. Then we have one teaspoon of vanilla. Let's see, that's it, right? Okay. And now we just do the same thing. We just blend this until it clumps together. And if it's still struggling to clump together, do the same thing. You just add one or two teaspoons of water, but it does take a little, you know, it takes two or three minutes for it to really blend and start clumping together. Okay, there we have the chocolate layer. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this right now. My mouth is salivating. I am so ready to dig into this. All right, so we're just gonna leave it in here and scoop from here. Um, I have just a silicone baking dish. It doesn't really matter the dish, just it's easier if you have one of these silicone ones because you can just pop it out once it's um, refrigerated and it sets up a little stiffer. It might be a little harder if you have just a glass dish or an aluminum dish, uh, but you could line it with parchment paper. That would make it easier, but these are so handy. I just love them. And the size doesn't matter either. You can make them really thin or you can make them big fat, fat ones. It's just how you cut them to portion them. It's how bad is your craving? <laughs> All right, so roughly we're just gonna split this into about half, about like that, maybe a little more. And we're just gonna squish this down into this pan, real nice and flat. And if it gets too sticky on your fingers, you can always just use a little bit of water and that'll help it to keep sticking from your fingers. Okay, there we go, there's that first layer. So now you grab your peanut butter layer. You can just dump all of it straight in there. The same thing, just mush it down really good. This is still a little bit crumbly, so you wanna mush this one down really nice and tight so that when you cut it, it doesn't just crumble apart. But you know how that, that center of that Reese's peanut butter cup the peanut butter isn't like just smooth and creamy. It's got, it's just a little bit dry, but that, oh, so good, so good. Okay, there we have our peanut butter layer. Okay, grab the rest of your chocolate. and just smush that onto the top. It takes a little bit of patience just to smush it around. This would be a fun one to do with your kids, you know, if you've got kids, I'm sure they would love getting kind of messy and sticky and making something so delicious. It makes them proud of being in the kitchen and being able to cook something that you can all enjoy. And this recipe doesn't involve knives, so you don't have to worry about them. And if you wanted to go super fancy, you could get some little, you know, the little silicone trays just like this that are, make the little cups, like miniature cupcake cups. And you can make them look just like a Reese's peanut butter cup. 
but that's a little too, a little too fussy for me. I'm not quite that patient. I did it a few days ago and it took me forever. And I thought, you know what? I think I'd, I'm perfectly fine just eating that as fudge. I don't mind that it's in a square and that it doesn't look like a Reese's peanut butter cup. It tastes like one. Good enough for me. Okay, squish that down there really good. So it gets itself glued to that peanut butter layer. Okay, now you're gonna stick this in the fridge for about a couple hours, really, so it firms up a bit. And then once that's firm, we'll get it out, flop it out, cut them in squares and taste them. Okay guys, I flopped out half of it and here it is. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, I'm just gonna slice off a little piece. Look at that. Peanut butter cup fudge. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Mmm. You are gonna love it. So be sure to comment and I'll see you next time.